Welcome to Take a Bite Podcast, stories for hungry kids. My name is Miss Janine, and I'm going to tell you a story today to help you eat. Sounds easy, right? It is, but most importantly, it's fun. So grab some breakfast, lunch, or dinner, a family member or friend, and your listening ears. Oh, there's one rule. Every time I stop my story and say, take a bite, you take a good bite of your yummy food. And if you finish that bite before I stop again, don't wait for me. Keep on munching. Okay, enjoy your meal, enjoy the story, and let's go. Take a Bite podcast stories are written for children three years of age and up. Adult supervision is always required while kids are eating and listening. Always remind your child to finish chewing before taking another bite to prevent choking. Please see our website, takeabitestories.com, for more information. By listening to this podcast, you agree to all terms and conditions set forth within. Rainbow Tomato Sauce It was Earth Day at the tomato farm. Earth Day is a holiday that happens in April in the United States every year. People do extra things to take care of the Earth. For this Earth Day, Miss Noelle's class was taking a field trip to a tomato farm to help out with the newest seedlings, pick tomatoes, and clean up litter. The tomatoes knew the kids were coming, and they were starting to get frightened. Take a bite. That's right, this farm was filled with talking tomatoes. These tomatoes had cute smiley faces and their skins were all the different colors of the rainbow. Some were red, some were yellow, some green, and most unusual, one little tomato was rainbow colored. They were all different sizes too. Oh, wait, you didn't know tomatoes could talk? Well, in this story they can. But did you also know that they have skin, just like us? Yep, that's really true. Lots of fruits and veggies have skin, just like people. And it comes in so many beautiful colors, just like us too. Take a bite. So the big yellow school bus was noisily pulling into the gravel parking lot of the tomato farm now. It parked and off bounced the teacher, followed by lots and lots of short, boingy kids. There were only 10 kids, but to the tomatoes, it looked like hundreds. The tomatoes were shaking on their vines now. The class followed the teacher over to the farmer who was standing and waiting to greet them. Hello, friends, and happy Earth Day. My name is Farmer Dan. Thank you so much for coming to help clean up the farm. Follow me and I will introduce you to our crops and our flocks. He said, take a bite. Rainbow Tomato could not take this anymore. The flock of kids was headed their way. The last time kids were here, they picked a whole bunch of tomatoes and those tomatoes were never seen again. No one had any idea what happened to them. Listen up, tomatoes! Everyone hide behind the leaves so the kids don't see you! So all the quaking tomatoes hid themselves, just like Rainbow Tomato said. Luckily, the farmer led the class over to the duck pond first. The ducks were doing their silly follow-the-leader run and jumping into the water one by one. Take a bite. The tomatoes watched nervously from their vines. Now, the kids were feeding the gray and white ducks treats as they swam in circles. These ducks were so lucky, thought the tomatoes. They didn't have to worry about being picked. Uh Uh-oh. The kids were done now. 
They lined up behind their teacher, and Farmer Dan began speaking again. Kids, I'm glad you enjoyed feeding our flock of ducks. We will go tomato picking after lunch. First, let's clean up the farm. Let's get that litter back into the trash can where it belongs. The kids all scattered and began putting garbage from the ground into bags. A little boy yelled out, Hey, look what I found! Take a bite. The boy picked up something small, round, and brown. It looked like a ball, but it had a strange, hard, bumpy coating on it. Miss Noelle told the boy it was an avocado. How strange! A whole avocado just sitting in the grass. The farmer had no idea where it came from. They didn't grow avocados at this farm. So he asked the boy to put it over near the tomato plants for now. After the boy left the avocado in the grass, he could have sworn it opened two little eyes and blinked. But he figured he had to be dreaming. Soon, the class had the farm spick and span, and it was time for lunch. Take a bite of your lunch, or dinner, or breakfast, or snack. Now the tomatoes were alone again. They all stared silently down at the ground where the strange avocado laid in the grass. The boy was right. It did have eyes. In fact, it had a mouth too that opened and began talking to the tomatoes. Hey! My name is Otto the Avocado! I heard that you're scared of being picked. There's nothing to be scared about. We avocados get mashed into guacamole to help witches. You tomatoes must be mashed into sauce to help people. It's like a party. It's fun, he said. Take a bite. As the tomatoes thought about this, they heard the flock of kids finishing up lunch near the barn and lining up again. And now those kids were headed to the tomato field. But this time, the tomatoes were not scared. They were actually excited to be picked for a sauce, since Otto the Avocado said it was fun. They had been bored of just sitting on their vines all day anyway. As the kids grew closer, the tomatoes plumped themselves up and made their brightly colored skins shine in the sun. They closed their eyes and waited to be picked. Take a bite. The children carried their own little bags, reusable bags, since that's best for the earth, and they began picking tomatoes from their vines. Otto the avocado watched and smiled. He could tell the tomatoes were happy now. They seemed to really be enjoying themselves. But wait, what was that sound? It was coming closer. It was the flock of ducks. They usually stayed near the pond. Why were they heading this way? Do they eat tomatoes? Do they eat avocados? Take a bite. The ducks waddled over in their silly little line heading straight for Otto the avocado. Otto froze and closed his eyes. These were not the witches he knew or his mom, dad, or sister. These were birds. Otto had never known a bird before. The lead gray duck pushed his orange beak against Otto's round body and gave it a little nudge. Otto rolled to one side. The duck waddled over and nudged Otto again. Otto rolled the other way. Then a smaller duck came and circled all around him, first one way and then the other. The rest of the ducks just stood there watching. The kids were too busy picking happy tomatoes to notice what was happening in the grass. Quack. The small quack, white quack. duck did something horrifying. Take a bite. She stuck her ducky tail feathers out really far and then... 
plopped right down on top of Otto. Then she nuzzled up nice and cozy, fluffing her feathers out, feeling pleased with herself. Oh my gosh, she thought Otto the avocado was an egg. The other ducks just quacked, telling her she was doing great. Otto did not agree. Hey, I'm not an egg. Please get off of me. I'm an avocado. The silly duck was startled, and she hopped right up, Quack. flapping her wings in confusion. Quack, quack, quack. Now the flock of kids turned around to see what the commotion was. Take a bite. Farmer Dan saw his white duck flapping her wings near the little avocado. Hey, you silly thing. That's not an egg. Go ahead back to your pen and lay an egg there. The lead gray duck heard this and began the line back to the pen. The confused white duck followed along with the rest of them. Soon they were gone and Otto was alone and exhausted while the kids continued to pick tomatoes behind him. Suddenly, a tiny tomato began rolling on the ground towards him. It must have fallen from a kid's bag. It was Rainbow Tomato. Take a bite. Rainbow Tomato told Otto that he rolled this way on purpose. He thought so sauce sounded cool, but guacamole sounded even better. He asked Otto if they could be friends and be together in a witch's guacamole to keep the witch's faces green. This was a great idea. Tomatoes go great in guacamole. So they both rolled off down the hill to find the stand of witches and Otto's family. The rest of the tomatoes waved goodbye from their bags as they grew excited to make a delicious sauce together. The kids began lining up to get on the bus headed back to school. Take a bite. Farmer Dan waved goodbye bye and bye thanked everybody. them. The Thank white you. duck sat on a Quack. rock, thinking it was Quack. an egg, and the witches cackled somewhere off in the distance. Yeah. The tomatoes knew it wouldn't be long until they were warm and simmering together with garlic, olive oil, and herbs into delicious sauces. All their beautiful skin colors mashed together would still make a wonderful sauce, even without the little rainbow tomato. They were so grateful to Otto the Avocado for his wise advice. When you work together to make something yummies, everyone smiles with nice full tummies. I hope you have a nice full tummy right now too. Take one more good bite. The end. Well, are you full? Did you finish your meal? Good job! If you didn't, keep eating. Mom or Dad can head to our website, takeabitestories.com, for some discussion questions. You can see what you remember about the story, how it made you feel, and what you liked about it. If you're all done for now, thanks for listening. I hope this story made you hungry for more. Bye-bye!